Okay, so we're ready. Uh, the wind is um, out of the um, west, slightly northwest of west. And uh, we're gonna be sailing southeast along the length of this lake. We're gonna go out of this creek and turn left, and that's where the main body of Lake Lanier is. And uh, I'm gonna try to get down to the, uh, the Three Sisters Island area, or maybe even all the way to the dam, because the wind is supposed to be uh, out of the out of the east, just slightly north of no the west. I mean, slightly north of west um, all day, so it should be perfect for uh, going there and coming back. So the boat's a bit of a mess. I hope to uh, flash off the tiller and get some time to uh, to straighten it out while underway, but. This is the lovely thing about a scamp. First thing I do is uh, make sure that this water ballast is full, um, which it is. I could plug that up. That's the uh, lake, that green light below is the lake. And uh, I could plug that up and fill this up with a bucket even more, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. So it's a pretty busy day out here at the lake. Uh, lots of motorboats. Um, Wind is blowing pretty good. I see a few little white caps, so I don't know. It might be eight, eight knots, ten knots. So uh, I put a single reef in. Scamp reefs really easily. With these reefing lines, you just stop and pull one in, and then pull the sail back up. And um, I want to go that way into the sun. But um, as before, the wind is coming straight out of the sun. And um, but anyway, we can we can keep tacking up towards there. And uh, once we get there, then we can angle um, south, go that way, on like a broad reach. And um, I think we'll be able to cover quite a bit of um, water that way. But first, we have to get up past maybe that island there maybe beyond it I don't know but the main channel of the lake opens up out there what I want to do is reach the three sisters islands and uh, I don't know they're about halfway down the lake I'll show you on the chart here in a second we have not come very far I'll show you that too on the on the Navionics So you can see here, um, and I'm, I'm doing a voiceover here because I forgot to turn the, uh, the microphone on when I was recording this while I was on the boat. But you can see here um, that, little, uh, that little delta, that little triangle, that, that, um, that red delta there. That It looks like a Space Invaders uh, ship. That's the track of our boat, and uh, you can see down in the far bottom left-hand corner of the map right now, you can see um, a little group of islands, little blobs of yellow, and uh, that's where we want to head. So I was just experimenting with parking the scamp. Um, you know, the scamp doesn't have a, uh, a jib, so you can't really heave to in a traditional way. Uh, but, you know, I was reading in some forums about how some people park the scamp, and I thought I would try it here because it's a pretty stiff breeze. I mean, this is at least, I'll say the breeze is coming straight out of there, and it's at least 8 miles an hour, maybe 10. Um, so it's pretty good. You can see, you can even see a few little white caps, so it may be a lot more than that. I mean, I'm basically going off of the, um, the forecast. I don't really have a good feel for how fast the wind is quite yet, but um, it's, it's gonna be at least 10 miles per hour, so it's a nice breeze. And so what you do is you, um, you just uncleat the, uh, the main sheet, and you let it sit at about, you, well, the, you can see that the bow is pointed about 45 degrees to the wind. The, uh, the sail is just left to, uh, to flap. And uh, and the tiller is, is tied off to the um, to the leeward side, and so I've been sitting here for like five minutes just to see what would happen. Um, we may be drifting. I don't think we are. We may be. I mean, we've got to be making some 
some leeway over the water, some. But anyway, if you wanted to stop, you know, have a drink, uh, adjust the sails, um, whatever, uh, you really can pretty easily on this boat. You, know, you just set it up uh, like I've showed you. So, you know, the wind is, uh, is coming from this way. You're about 45 degrees to it. You just let the, uh, the sail, um, this is totally uncleated, you just let the sail flap and you tie the tiller off um, to the leeward side. And, uh, well, it seems to work. Just like uh, the people on the forum said it would, so thanks. And uh, so you can see here the progress that we made so far on the trip that you see on the video. Um, there's a little island there. We just need to go um, right around the edge of it, and then we're going to turn left, and we're going to go down to those uh, those islands down at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Those are the Three Sisters Islands. That's the goal. So it looks like we have, oh, it's hard to tell really based on that, but it looks like um, about another mile and a half, maybe two miles to get there. And uh, there's the little island uh, to the north of which we want to go. And then we're going to turn left. And... and there's a little speck of an island. So here's the progress we've made. We have rounded um, that island, or almost rounded it. We've turned uh, to the left anyway, turned to the southwest. And uh, you can still see those islands sort of um, uh, about a third of the way over from the left. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, those are the Three Sisters Islands. Well, they're right in the middle of the screen now. You can see them there, zoomed out. That's our progress. There is the... Uh western side of that island. You can see some geese there. Not sure if you can see them, but they're there, right in front of those rocks. And uh, yeah, all that riprap there, all those rocks, gives you an idea of uh, the wind direction that's predominant here, I suppose. It's always been blowing from the west when I've been here on this lake. And uh, it's like they put those rocks there to protect that island. Hopefully you can see what I'm, what I'm doing here. So the scamp can sometimes just get um, stalled out and it just starts drifting backwards. But if you, if you pull the sail like you would a, a uh, sailboard, you pull it to the middle, hold the tiller straight, it'll stop backing off and it'll go forward. <laughs> Hope that helps. So I think part of the problem is this the traveler setup in the back. So you see how, um, you know, when we're on a, when we're sailing upwind, like the um, the sail is pulled in about as tight as it'll go. You see, it's like you know those blocks are really close, like they're they're top down. So getting, there's no getting that any closer. But the traveler lets it go all the way over to the starboard side. So I think if uh, maybe I were to mount some rings in the middle of that traveler, I could take that clip right there and I could clip it to a ring in the middle, you know, tie it off in the middle. Or I could uh, clip it to a ring that could uh, slide on the uh, starboard side and I could put a third ring over here and it could, uh, there could be a third ring I could clip it where it could slide on the port side. And, uh, five rings because it'd be kind of neat to be able to take that and clip it all the way over here and see if I can sail any closer to the wind. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, maybe I'll try that and if I do, I'll show you how well it works. 
But let's try to get to the three sisters. Yacht race is uh, right over there. That motorboat is going about 300 yards across in front of it. The race is over. That's where it was. So, uh, any other scamp owners, I'd love to hear what your experience with these uh, self bailers are. So, you can see down here, there, and there, there's a little, a little self bailing uh, plug. So, the theory, and I suppose the practice is, although I haven't tried it, is that uh, if you get swamped by a wave and the cockpit is, uh, you know, full of a few gallons of water, or if uh, capsize and you scoop up some water when you're turning it back up. Uh, the theory is that you can open those plugs and it will uh, drain out. And uh, I suppose that's true, but what I found is they kind of leak the other way. And so I get, you know, just a few ounces of water in here. And so um, I opened them to test and, um, you know, there's just a, a flood comes in. It just fills up these little scuppers. It doesn't really go any higher than that. I suppose that's as designed. Uh, so I just took this, um, um, you know, hand pump, uh, sunk pump, and just uh, pump the water out of the scuppers. Um, but I don't know. I'm just interested to hear other people's experience. I mean, have you used those? Have they worked for you? Did they drain the cockpit very fast? Um, you know, what's your experience been? Love to hear about it. So I'm really feeling how bouncy this boat is, uh, which I mean, it's kind of fun in a way. Um, but these are not huge waves that we're dealing with. It's not a huge amount of wind. Um, but this thing is like it's like right now, right? Which is fun. It doesn't seem quite as fast as it did before, and I think um, one reason is that uh, trolling motor is not tipped up. I just left it down. Uh, because uh, a bit of a tricky back, and my back uh, it acted up a bit as I was uh, starting a trip, so I don't really want to bend over. Uh, uh, the other thing is, I shortened this. Uh, Solve the problem of uh, you know, not being able to get the, the sail close, as close to the center line as I want to. But it didn't really solve that problem. It was another problem. I can't get the, uh, the handle now. The trolling motor under that traveler. So I'm going to have to redo that traveler. Maybe even install something that's adjustable. Meanwhile, we're getting ever closer to the Three Sisters Islands. They're right over there, but uh, we're almost there. Almost there. The wind's picking up even. That'll be good for the run. Oh, we're going to get back to the ramp really fast. Oh, God. Back. Sorry.
others are in the, uh, the islands there to the left. So I'm going to sail right up to them. I don't think I'm going to beach the boat today because um, the water's cold. I mean, it's only a few days past February. I want to beach the boat there. Uh, and that is the progress so far. Uh, you can see that um, <laughs> I've just reached, um, you know, almost on a level um, with the with the northernmost island. I'm not going to go down to the uh, the southernmost island. Uh, and still a little ways to go, but I'm going to sail right up to that little gap between that top small island and the middle island. Okay, perfect example now for the boat. It's just kind of, it just got stuck in a tack. I wasn't really paying attention because I was uh, messing with the iPhone. And so, oh, it's too late. We're going to just take it off on its own tack now. That helps. Okay, let's get over to, let's get over to these islands. So we can uh, turn around and run. Uh, this is going to be a really fast run. Uh, back and down. So here's what it looks like in real time. Uh, first island, northernmost island is there on the right. Southern row, or the, the middle island is there on the left. That's just uh, land behind them. You can see between them, the ridge of trees behind them on the shore. And um, right between them, there's an old road bed and it's supposed to be 10 feet down. Should I just try to sail right over it? So we're in a bit of a wind shadow. Um, like if we've reached our goal, almost, but there's, there are two problems. One, the wind is still coming straight out of the sun, which makes it really hard to point high enough into the wind to get through that gap. be a few minutes, so um, I'll catch you up when I get closer. And hopefully that really is at least 10 feet deep. Because I think, uh, I mean, as long as it's at least 5 feet deep, I'm just... Okay, here we are. Uh, we made it. So that's the first sister right over there. It looks better when you can see it highlighted in the sunlight. So, uh, we just came from that direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the boat further around. And um, no, there are some guys fishing over there, so I'm not gonna sail over there. I'm gonna head back home, going that way. Oh, you know, I was saying that the boat seemed a lot slower, or seemed somewhat slower than it had on my last trip. <laughs> And um, one reason is certainly that that motor, which is just, just dragging through the water, um, the prop is. But the other reason is, forgot, I put a reef in. So the sail is quite a bit smaller than it usually is. So you can see the track here. We, we went right up uh, to the gap between those two islands, turned around. And now we're headed back uh, northeast along the main channel of the lake. And um, you can see we took a, a long zigzagging road um, to reach the islands. Uh, but it's going to be a pretty straight run back. So you can see right up there where we started, that yellow track. I wish that track was a different color. It would be easier to see against the land. Maybe there's a setting or something in Navionics. If anyone knows about that, let me know. I'm still kind of new to... Navionics, but it's going to be a straight line back. It's going to be a lot faster. So here's another interesting thing about this boat. I didn't even know. Um, but we're doing four knots right now, which, uh, granted, that's not blazing speed, but it's uh, faster than our normal day today. Uh, but we're going straight down the wind. It doesn't feel like anything. It feels really smooth. So I guess that's natural. You know. You're Leading up wind is kind of a bumpy, bouncy ride, but um, going straight down wind and 
The lake's kind of settled down a little bit, I think. Maybe a little, yeah. Maybe it just feels more that way because I'm going down here. But, uh, it looks very comfortable going down here. So real world is under these conditions. I'm not sure exactly what's, maybe the wind is stronger from the last time, but uh, my little self-steering uh, you know, tiller lash down setup doesn't really work. I think it's probably blowing, I don't know, six to eight knots. And uh, if, I just, if I just lash the tiller, Okay, let's see what happens. I mean, um, well, I mean, it's, it keeps long enough for you to step forward, you know, if you want to adjust something, put a reef in the sail, or, um, you know, grab a bite to eat. Well, it's still holding. Um, I think it's the waves. The waves may have died down a little bit, but a few minutes ago, um, I had to, to hand steer. Well, I haven't touched it at all since this video, this section of the video has been running. And, um, well, I was about to tell you it doesn't work, but uh, it's working now. I think the difference may have been the waves. The waves were a little bit steeper uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, they were maybe a foot and a half, and now they're maybe six inches. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's going. It's working. And uh, you can fast forward through this part of the video if you like. Just kind of skip ahead uh, just for my own satisfaction. I'm going to keep this running and just uh, so I can remember, you know, how long it will hold a course like this. And I guess we're going about three knots now. You know, we were doing four and five knots the waves behind us and the stronger wind and uh well now man this thing's steering like a champ it's like holding a course good job scamp So, done. Good 10 degrees to the right, I think, at this point. Let's see if it straightens itself out. Yeah, the waves are coming stronger. I don't know if that's a wake from a boat or what you can hear them now you can hear them coming up behind are they gonna knock us off course yeah see well i mean it held the course for two and a half minutes maybe three minutes so you can see on this map that we made a really fast downwind run and um, that little pin that little blue pin you see the um the direction of the boat uh, bisecting, that is the boat ramp. So, um, yeah, in the video, we're going to be back there in no time. And now the light is getting to be really nice. So we're almost back, which is good because the, um, the sun is about to set. Um, that's where we came from, right there, the boat ramp. It's right up in that creek, so we should be there shortly.
And there we are. We made it back. That's the boat ramp right there. That little blue pin that the Space Invaders um, ship is about to uh, arrive at. And we've made it back. Just in time. <laughs> 